Good morning everyone. How is everyone doing? Okay, so I'm looking right now on my calendar and I think this video will be on Sunday. So for me right now as I record this video it is Thursday which is June 2nd as you can see I'm trying to go a little bit ahead this past week for you I have lots of unboxing review and that's why I kind of fall behind a little bit on my project that I really wanted to do but I have to skip those and maybe I will get them for next week because uh, today I'm going to campground to clean up up there and take some boxes a few more things to do um, to prepare for camping for tomorrow so we want to cut the grass so puppy don't run around the grass long grass uh, because it is thick season season and we don't want to get those so with short grass it's always kind of better chance not to pick them up um, yeah so my husband decided he will go and cut grass today clean it up we did it so tomorrow when we arrive with the whole family it will be nice and clean um, so yes for those uh, days of course I'm going to be there and hopefully I will create some video while we camping hopefully because I always take with me camera uh, and yes I will show you uh, in, in here and back uh, some product in here that not product but few things that I purchased when we went to for graduation my son and uh, military uh, in Oh, where is it? Where was it? We're back. Um, so I didn't have a chance to show you what I got. A few few things. I just was too busy with recording different videos. Uh, so let me show you. I might well push camera a little bit further in here, so I can be a little bit close to the table. Just a minute. We will get a little bit readjustment. I have lots of stuff in here is going on so let me take this away so you can see what I have kind of on the table in here oh I might have to keep it like this hold on I'm actually rise right now there I have my one light in here I have another one light in here and I close blind so kind of uh, my camera don't have a crisscross light so let me show you what I purchased on a dollar store. I decided to check up their dollar stores so we can see, uh, like, you know, I wanted to see what's the difference up there, that dollar store, and maybe something that we don't have, you know, something that we don't have in here. And I found a few things. All right. Now bag is empty, so let me show you first. First, it's a shop and haul, but even before that, uh, when we went to visit my son to be on his graduation, uh, Sherry, my BFF, hi girlfriend, <laughs> she went with us as well, and so she came over for sleepover because we um, went up there, we started our driving journey of seven hours and four o'clock in the morning and she brought me a little gift because accidentally she ordered two that is a die cut that all these pieces it's a one die cut but many many different pieces so maybe maybe I can no, this is not white, so how are we going to see it? Um, anyway, there's a many different pieces up there. Maybe not the best position of my camera. And as usual, there's a phone call, so yes, sorry about that. That's what happened. So this is 
with all these pieces uh, Sherry showed me like a link where it's already some people created it's a cute box gift box but very decorative that could be like a foldable and flat you can send in a mailbox uh, something something super duper cute that we will be practicing creating lots of different pieces there is a sun and grass and clouds and look at that hearts and some says hello uh, lots of lots of little tiny pieces so thank you very much sherry so she order accidentally too i say wow well, you probably were thinking about me <laughs> so she gave it to me that one uh next one that i found up there in the dollar store that i thought i could use them uh sometimes in my maybe i need a light a little bit more in here sometimes in my or maybe oh, just a minute we're going forward we're going forward uh, sometimes in my beaded project I need the pearls to put inside of the design when I bead and more often I'm using pearls that have a holes this pearls is uh, like a wedding decoration pearls 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 celebration so this is like for decorative pieces for the vase or glasses for the table uh, and I like that this is uh, different sizes and they don't have a hole so this is all solid pieces and this is wonderful to put on the inside of the beaded project where you need to kind of like a fill in uh, and I thought okay this is nice I definitely can use this one instead of using good pearls um, that I can bead with and put thread through you know and it's a two dollars fifty two dollars fifty for this one uh next one what i found is and i purchased two because i did not see them in my dollar store so let me put one away and this is a two dollars price synthetic leather and i need this for the project to bid on you know to create the brochures or some kind of like a 3d design that i want to do with jewels and beads uh, because i really really want to try some of the design like a little uh, create butterflies or bugs or hearts to create with lots of beads and sequence i already told you about my plan and i was going to use just a felt but this is it looks like a leather let's open one so i can actually see the let's see something brighter red for example i want to see how big that is and it looks like real leather nice pattern you see that and on this side it's just uh, like a kind of gluey canvas i don't know even um square there uh i would say maybe what is it eight by eight how many centimeters oh or does it say something in here did i look i don't know so let, let's measure i want to see okay so this is a square i believe 20 by 20 centimeters will be is it Oh no, 20 by 19 centimeters. Okay, so I can have here lots of projects actually because if I would do projects, it would be probably like some of them this kind of square, some of them maybe a little bit bigger or smaller. So that that's good to have for the backing. For example, if you want to create some project that will be um, go like as a brooch for your kid's hair maybe or for your clothes can we get back okay i need to do later so in here what we have brown they all different colors so the brightest only two it's the around i mean <laughs> around i'm looking on around and say around uh red and brown which on camera right now for me 
so looks brighter than it is and then we have black and then brown and this like a dark dark blue which with my light you also see a little bit lighter color than it is it's actually oh from far that that's the real color that's the real color from far away yeah brown still look a little bit brighter so that, that's good I decided to get two packages so I don't run out uh, next one what I got in here I some beads um, did I get already here at home no I think it's still up there dollar uh, 75 I, I like this why is it getting darker what is this where is the light uh, three colors three colors I put camera in front of me it's not exactly comfortable to be honest because I did not want it to move camera because all my cross stitch we will see this way okay let's see those beads okay I can throw this away okay uh, when I look very very close I think they are good quality beads when I'm looking for example this red one how close we can get maybe if I can get to the light I don't know no am I still pushing my camera I don't know um, look it doesn't look bad I kind of turn it around and to me looks pretty much kind of like a equal size I don't see like a very bad different shape of them so this piece probably the best one so far that I see from a dollar store and they are mm, a little bit different sizes as you can tell the white one bigger size maybe I think this is the um, 8 8 oh this and this most likely 11 oh yeah so beads beads always I love beads and beads is a big deal for my crafting because I have tons if I can move my camera let me slowly move camera if some of you did not see my um, you know all the shelving up there and all the way if we go from right down up there all the way it's a beaten supplies we go up this bucket the diamond painting container full of seed beads lots of lots of lots of lots of beads more beads and more beads up there in the container the book looking um, thing up there where up there that's all my like a bb craft and all those um company be that company that send me product for review which is like a good good quality product so i use them uh, the fancy organizer okay now the other thing that i found in a dollar store it's this napkins they are very pretty am i all the ways okay there zoom out um very nice napkins for decoupage and on sunday i supposed to create tutorial with them but as i say um this week i received too many packages for the review and i had to put them first on my channel so i was working really hard this past week and did not have time to really uh, to do too many videos as a whips and chats even this one is really really pretty so this coming week hopefully i can create a video tutorial 
with some of these napkins. Look at that, that's very so pretty. My dollar store did not have this kind of pretty designs, which I do have a quite collection of napkins from dollar store like this. Some I think my, I might be purchased from maybe winners. Uh, I love to have a pretty napkins and I have some product created from them. And I need a second life to finish what I want to do. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Okay, so this go here. Ooh, back into the bag. Away from, away from me. Okay, now next one. What we have in here? It's my craft stitch. I want to do a little bit update for you. Uh, not update, but obviously new start, right? So here it is. This is the first start. Here is the first start. This gorgeous sunflower, who remember unboxing, uh, then you might be remember that I said this would be a great pillowcase for the pillow, throw on a chair, sofa, whatever. And of course, sunflower represent Ukraine because we are a country of sunflowers and other thing uh, that kind of speak about my country. So this is really kind of special to me as well. And plus, I absolutely love and enjoy to work with these colors. So um, June 1st, no, no, no. I think I started this one on 31st, but I do have a new start uh, on June 1st. We will go to it. Um, this one is here it is size and because it's 11 count ada this canvas will go with me to campground so because i was talking to you about in my one of my weapon chat i think on wednesday maybe or talking that i thinking to get some large canvas and then i was afraid to leave up there what if something happened <laughs> i would be said to lose that canvas so i went through not true, but dig a little bit in my closet and I picked this one. And when I saw this 11 count, I was like, that's it. It's a very easy design to stitch. If you are a beginner, very, very easy canvas to stitch. You should have this one. Only full stitches in here and that's it. Big chunks of colors if you look on a pattern in here. And I started to create this piece right in here, this corner. And let me show you what I have. Let me left. See how I hold in this, this, um, this one and the other one. I have a smaller pack. These clips are very good to hold your canvas. So I'm not stitching in a frame. I have, I have um, just holding in my hands. Here is what I have so far. Look how beautiful. It is so bright, so cheery, make me so happy. Uh, let me roll a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so this morning I was uh, actually created this black patch because in here, this black I finished last night to this point. So all this uh, purple color a little bit, little bit in here, black. Uh, there's not too much in here black. And if I can show you how we can show you together, <laughs> how we can show, okay. If we can look, you know, picture and a stitching, you see how precise this exactly colors what I stitch and what you see in a picture, this yellow and you know, this, this, this corner absolutely same as it shows like it's just so beautiful so beautiful i have so so much fun to create this uh, and here is my stitches i have to say that i did not use wax in here the threads are so beautiful layer mm, if it's something maybe crooked this is only my fault but you don't have to have a wax on these threads they look stunning that was so fun and if you know me well you know that i like to stitch 
cross country so if I would pick some color in here I would go all the way around right but this time I wanted to create chunk and this chunk when I finish with this black it will be like almost in here like a good chunk done I wanted to show you actually progress how this will look like when the whole patch is done because when I cross stitch cross country it's kind of hard to see progress till it's finished because it's always uh, you know scattered around um, yeah look that's my back and not bad not bad clean I would say uh, don't have it too much of the like you know connectors on the back because it's all in patches you start and go you start and go it's like a rainbow in here so beautiful love it so i started this one and i thought that's it this is so easy to do i will take with me to the campground and i will stitch up there 11 count ada i don't have to have a magnifier glass and I will hold it in my hands. Right now I stitch just to put in this on a table, flat, flat on a table and like one piece where I stitch it's go off the table and that's the way I stitch in here. So then, <coughs> excuse me, we have talked with you about this two angels seasons, seasonal angels and this one and I ask you to help me to choose what to do because I really really waited for this spring because it has a different kind of thread in here a uh, silver one uh, let me show you a little bit if you did not see my unboxing let me pick up to pull out this this thread see like this one very nice threads beautiful so a little bit like it's it's different um and those threads will be on those all those yellow design uh, but because spring was kind of like a finishing and i didn't know what to do should i start on spring or should they start already in the summer so i told you to vote and help me to choose uh, most of you say, or maybe even 100%, uh, some of you say choose whatever you like, it's your choice. Uh, but most of you vote for summer, since summer it's starting, then it would be good to go with the season right away. Uh, so in Ukraine, we consider our each season starts from the first date after seasons so let's say june 1st it's a summer for us in ukraine in canada it's different it's like middle of june or something that summer starts actually do i have this on a calendar next to me let's see there it says in here when summer let's see let's see let's see um okay i need a light because i cannot see it uh, uh, uh. New moon. What is the flag day? No, I don't think it's heaven here. Unless I don't see it. Okay, I don't see it. Maybe this count that doesn't have a. <coughs> So on June 1st, I started summer. Now, in this summer, we have some same kind of design of these dresses. Kind of very similar, right? But this kit doesn't have those uh, silver or gold threads. So I decided I will make some. Okay. I want to change lots of things in here. So I started to stitch right in here on the top. This, um, okay, this, this designs and then this yellow in here, this borders in here. 
so let me show you what I have what I have let's see I put this in a frame because I was planning to do tutorial and here is what I have okay I have to bring a camera because a light not gonna work By the way, yes, remember I did review. This is perfectly go on this kind of frame. Hug nicely. This is like excess of the fabric that I put on a frame. And this is how it's kind of hanging in here because canvas shorter, so that's okay. Uh, but it's stretched, it's work, and I just pin with two pins on each side, and it's work beautiful. So, what I have in here so far. I show you pictures on uh, Instagram. Let's see, can we see some sparkles or not? Usually metallic threads really difficult to make them sparkle. But it is such a pretty shine when the sunshine hit my table. Uh, let me try maybe extra light from my flashlight on my cell phone. Let me, let me just try if it's going to work or not. If it's going to be a little bit better or not so let's get focus back okay let's see if i can shine with the flashlight so i can mm, no well kind of a little bit no it doesn't really show you the real beauty of this gold threads now this is my experiment let me turn off my flashlight this is experiment because i did not know in how many threads i should stitch this and you can see my needle still hanging in here and there is a reason why i did not cut yet because there's an important thing and tip to give you in my tutorial. That's why I left this. So we can, if you never stitch with the threads or you're a beginner, um, it may be very valuable to you would be some tips how to stitch with metallic or glitter threads. Uh, it's a need to be done a little bit different than with your regular threads. So, I want to create this actually tutorial and I ask your opinion on Instagram last night and uh, most of you, well I, I would say everyone says that yes I should create this video to stitch with the metallic threads. The metallic threads my friends, it's the threads that I did review. It looks like a green right now on a video but it's a nice and gold color. It's a big bobbin my goodness this color really disguising but look at that gorgeousness it's really more like a yellow to orange right now on the camera it looks like a greenish really different from the light if i turn it off light oh this is natural color you see it's nice and gold there that no there no, <laughs> it, a little bit darker, how, how we can see, no, it shows you different color, that's funny, but look at the size of it, look at the size of that. So I decided to, not to just stitch with regular threads, I will stitch with this metallic threads. So uh, let me show you actually so this um really thin really thin let me just get this little thread in here okay we don't want to start to unwind so what i i try to do i because i didn't i wasn't sure if i should do uh combine them with the regular thread or do just a metallic thread. So I fold it on four, then I kind of went across of my uh, finger, finger like this, right? To create this like a crisscross to see the thickness what would be. And I thought, okay, it looks okay. So I decided to stitch just, okay, let me just, oh, sorry about that. 
uh, decided to stitch in four only without any additional threads from this kit uh, and uh, I wasn't sure if I'm going to like it or not or it's going to be not thick enough maybe so when I stitched the top part in here I thought they look okay Mm. I thought they look okay so I don't think I needed another thread under see that now the other thing that I wanted to do uh, where is my scissors or something oh, I put them away hey, forgive me but I'm gonna show you with my finger or should I <laughs> oh, yay, yay. okay inside in here okay inside of this square uh, there is a thread that I needed to stitch with let me show you maybe I should put kind of a little bit like this I don't know so 13 13 it's this this color go on the inside on the inside in here so I wanted originally to put in here this um, beads which is bicons look how gorgeous look how gorgeous they are oh after focus they are so magical oh it's so pretty so anyway bicons uh, this one I believe four or three millimeters four maybe I think it's a four millimeters so when I kind of measure in here so see they kind of like this thread I thought I will be stitching them with this threads they belong to and put this so it's kind of like a somehow matching but because they are so sparkle I thought it would be good to put them in here inside of this um, like inside in here right in those little diamonds but they are a little bit too big size uh, let's just do this way so they a little bit too big size so I thought okay how about seed beads seed beads because this is a uh, 14 count ada so the seed beads will fit perfect and this one seed beads is like per lesson with lots of uh, pretty colors shimmer see that it's almost like a pearl with the um, iridescent dust on the top and it's it's, uh, it's a very very pretty beads so I might well put these beads inside if I don't find anything better because I want this canvas to be absolutely special now the other thing that I'm thinking in the squares where the squares let me show, show you ah okay in here okay we're moving canvas backwards so I can fit in a frame okay in here those uh, dark dots in here what is that oh it's exactly the same symbol okay it's a exactly same symbol as in here inside so basically i need to use same green beads but what i'm thinking it's kind of like a square in here a four right so maybe we'll put some jewels in here something different uh, jewels jewels uh, let me show you if you want to wait let me dig on the top in that big box that I told you from BB craft uh, I was looking yesterday those jewels to put them actually in those little tiny diamonds that I already created but they also too big for that space but maybe will be good for the space of this four let me see let me pull out and 
I, I will show you what I'm thinking. Because I really want to have this canvases Four Seasons all with jewels and sparkle, very unique. And here is what I have, this kind of jewels. Let's see what kind of color I have. Oh, I have a color in here actually that would match um, probably this one because it's a need to be green. Okay. No. Okay, more. Hold on. Zoom out all the way. Because it's so shiny. I wanna. It doesn't wanna. Okay, to this guy. Okay. You see that? They are very shiny. They have seven holes. If I can show you. Let me try to figure out how to show you it's such a tiny piece. Okay, on this side, can you see there's a seven holes up there under on um, four sides, yeah, on four sides go holes this way and go holes this way. So I was thinking maybe, just maybe, let me get up oh I love this one I did not use them yet in my project uh, wow they are very 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 pretty so I might you will use many of them all over canvas who knows but I'm thinking if they will be fit in here or not let me just check if they fit, doesn't want to stay. I need a tweezers. This nail's not comfortable. Oh. Oh, they actually fit. They actually fit. All right, I think. It will be sticking out. But. It's going to be. Look at jewels like that. I think this doesn't want to focus very much though. Hmm. Doesn't want to focus, but I think this gems will be nice up there for the extra sparkle. I don't know. Um now the other thing that I was thinking, so it's a lot of thinking. This video all about thinking. <laughs> okay, so this is like a more chit chatty last day of the week you know in canada your week start from sunday for ukrainian people sunday it's the last day of the week we start from monday see how different we are uh, now the what i'm thinking summer the writing itself you're not supposed to stitch because this is okay this is so not nice i need something to show you with okay Mermaid, come here. There you go, a pen. Um, this uh, summer writing, this is partial, so the white part, of course, we don't have to stitch. This is how it's going to be. So what I'm thinking, I might will even bling this up, or I will use 11 count seed beads white per lesson that I have, or I have um the same one in silver i did have review on my channel now i did test this out as well um that's why i decided to go with this one because um, i wash them wrap in a paper towel rub a little bit because i wanted to see if they will fade a color or not so um it will be fine for the hand wash this uh, kind of threads I'm not sure about like with the ironing of course you need to be very careful not to melt them I'm not sure how they withstand iron but uh, from the towel from the backing of your canvas I think we should be fine 
so maybe I will stitch this uh, sign summer or beads or that silver metallic uh, we'll see that and uh, I see somebody pull on my driveway oh is it gonna be somebody knocking the door or hopefully not um, okay I have to pause it okay sorry about that I had to answer door um yeah so where were i uh about this one so or metallic or or beads i will think about it but uh right now i don't think i will put beads right now uh i might will do them on the very very end or maybe in some point even when I wash my canvas uh, I will see how much I want to use different stuff a variety of beads or gems in here because sometimes uh, when you put like a bulky gems uh, for example if I would put this right away it would be difficult for me later to iron my canvas after I wash because this one more sticking out um, which it's still you can iron by putting on a, like a fluffy towel so the gems would be go into the towel and your canvas still can iron normally or you can just add them later on the end um, and I'm just like so sad that this beads doesn't fit somewhere maybe I can use them somewhere also I was thinking that this border my battery already dying this borders all the way around i might will be bead stitch as well to create like i'm saying i want to blend this out okay i want to blend this out so this canvas looks so unique and so special um yeah i was just not sure if i should use this metallic thread yellow just the metallic or this is the threads that's supposed to go for all this orange colors where is metallic it's supposed to be just a regular uh, yellow which is really super surprised me that um, all this four seasons you would think they would create them kind of in the same way with the same metallic thread like in the spring for example because one more canvas have those uh, I think maybe Noel actually uh, some of them has beads, have beads, some of them don't. Uh, yeah, they did not make them all equally with the same kind of product. Silver or metallic threads or beads. So I want to create something that whatever I decide to do. What do you think about this idea? Yeah, lots of thinking. So maybe now uh, till I do maybe where I don't have metallic thread I will wait till when I come back from the camp and which for you probably will be soon but for me it's only Thursday right now so maybe I will create metallic uh, tutorial for you by creating you know outline the squares because this is metallic outlining uh, but in the meantime I might will stitch where is no metallic and maybe on girl's face on her skin I don't know so yeah that's my plan and now if you wanna stay or this video will be long okay maybe we should stitch a little bit together how about we're going to stitch some flowers a little bit just a little bit uh, I'm still working with my black threads but I don't have a frame on it so I don't know if you're going to like it or not or maybe we just leave this video as it is for now is my plan um, <laughs> yeah well one more thing that I was working on it's my angel diamond painting which is all background is finished I think I already maybe show you that yeah I did show you my progress so after that I did not work yet on it I was kind of cross stitching this week most of the time Plus, I want to do tutorial um, test 
my markers that I receive. I want to do swatches very much so. And also I need to create beaded project with those pearls that I have video unboxing this week. So yeah, I have lots of plan to do and I just need to get this all in order. So uh, this coming week I should have more like a DIYs, whips and chats. For now I'm all out of the packages to review unless it will show up something these days. But other than that we will have some lots of fun together. So let's just uh, let's do a few stitches together. I have thread new thread into my needle and my friends please forgive me if my canvas m will move a little bit more than it should be because I have no frame for this one so I am stitching in my hands by holding so I can work only with one hand I will try to do as steady as I can by kind of stretching the canvas in my hands but it definitely it's not the same as it would be in a frame so I can use two of my hands so hopefully I'm not going to create some knots on the other side so I'm kind of trying to hold it with my two finger on the bottom to control my thread when needle go down even black threads in here is really nice actually so I have to say if you're looking for something very colorful this is the one not sure how much longer I will stitch this because we already will be probably in half an hour or so um, yeah some of you actually really requested to do longer video you wish I would have a longer video I thank you so much for that uh, I know lately I created a little bit shorter video because this week I uploaded like so many projects. I was working first thing wake up till I time to go sleep. It was really really busy week. <clears throat> to be YouTuber is a little bit busy because it's not much time taking a record video as much time to upload and all that stuff to go with it. So right now I try to because there's some of the video like a second video per day so that was a very intense week this week uh, should be a little bit better this coming week so we will create a longer video now let's see Ooh, my bucket in here under desk let's see if I can stick with the plan <coughs> And in the end of the week, you can remind me if I miss some that I promised. So here's what I want to do. I want to do marker swatches for next week. I don't know if any of you will be interested, but I would love to swatch them for myself. So I might as well just create video just for in case. Uh, some of you like to color a lot and maybe you're looking for good markers for the good price so I will do swatches now uh, next one it will be a tutorial I have to work with the metallic threads we will stitch with those threads on my summer canvas summer angel let's call it which mostly it's probably like a bright summer I don't know it's just the season um, yes so that's what um, about okay so that's a two video of course European town must have that's going to be third video uh, I did not work for some time with the tiger so I might will be might be not exactly but I should have tiger on my channel this coming week or diamond painting tiger or I do have cross stitch but that would be maybe too many cross stitches so maybe I will okay I stitch them together a little fluff in here uh, 
probably diamond painting. Uh, then I'm hoping to upload some video that I will record when I was camping, when I will camp. Um, then I would love to do a tutorial with the product that I have uh, those die cuts, the paper craft, so we will have some you know, stitching, diamond painting, paper craft, and also I would love to do this DIY with those napkins that I show you. Um, and that would be design that really good to create for any birthdays or Christmas, especially gift. Uh, yeah, because I used to make those a gift but not with napkins with actual pictures and uh, I had lots of orders I used to sell stuff like that years ago okay you know I'm picking on the threads of fluff from my pads because it's probably on my pants and when um, I'm just having like a jogging pants on me right now it's comfy because air conditioner it's cold in the house so when threads go down and picking some fluff off me unfortunately that's allowed from pets you will understand if you have one uh yeah so paper craft i really want to create the paper flowers so die cuts i need to uh, die cut a few of the samples i'd love to have that so like I plan a lot something new but we'll see um, maybe till that time I will receive some packages that is on the way to me so we will have probably some unboxings as well so that's kind of thing but if I miss some of this that I wanted to do or oh, the, the beaten beaten tutorial for sure I need to create so please remind me if I forget something. Embarrassed me not to go with the flow and forgetting about something because I am not writing in my calendar because uh, to write in my calendar I need to know which day what thing will go and sometimes it doesn't go as a plan depends on how busy I am or what I'm doing. Mm, yeah, and because of the camping, I have very limited time to record video. Just because we didn't go camp last week due to the heavy rain, I have more time to record videos. Yay, that was nice. Uh, maybe today I will go to the lake maybe I will find some pretty rock maybe I can shoot a little bit video up there just to start and then on the end of the week put together oh remember I told you about the uh, bean game uh, we got the new bags of the bean so we can play some game, the other one was rotten we should dry them and keep them in the house instead of in a compartment in a trailer and then we put them up there, they probably were wet a little bit because um, it was raining and we kind of packed them we saw drying first and they kind of got moldy so we tossed them away now we have a new one, we love that game, that's fun Shoulder sore, sore after that game because you have to toss it and with some problems sometimes I'm having a trouble later with my shoulder but it's fun. See the coverage for example, it's not like 100% coverage, you see those spaces but keep in mind when you wash this canvas the threads kind of fluffing up a little bit I would say 
and all those colors will be all even so um, like you know white canvas it basically will be almost not visible usually black threads is really thin in here black threads is nice nice this is the good quality black threads some canvases could have a very dry looking threads not exactly black almost like a grayish black this one is nice so after all I actually recommend for you to get this one so I'm planning to create pillow from it because how many pictures do we need on the wall pillows always you can snuggle with them um, and yes again this canvas is from biggest craft you know what's interesting I catch myself every time I pick some canvas that I'm kind of like keeping in my mind I want to create most of the time it's end up biggest craft I don't know lately I've received from them like a very pretty canvases and even oh I don't know they're just pretty just pretty I think biggest craft uh, also have a new person in the store that I just met so we'll see not met but through the email we'll see how that will go and I believe I'm waiting one little package so not sure yet how how we gonna connect with each other lots of changes many people changing back and forth back and forth some get fired some get find a new job I wonder how their situation with COVID if it's any better or not in China because they were like on a full lockdown I wonder if you listening to my video and maybe you are from China, is it still ever seen in a lockdown? Kinda I'm not watching news right now from all over the world. I'm mostly watching Ukrainian news right now, what's going on. dangerous situation right now been talking all week about that if Belarus will go or not because they are very close to my home to my family basically a few hours away I'm scared but I'm um, thinking positive that it's not going to happen but there is uh, talking about danger zone where my family live my mom and my sisters and also danger zone where my son, where my son live so two different districts always worry butterflies in my stomach I have to say that cross stitch and diamond painting really good therapy in this moment for me it's relax me yeah I try a few stitches to work like this way for example right in 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 this way and <laughs> I thought okay it's a um, pillow doesn't have to be so perfect but then I do a few stitches and I don't like it because of course it would be much faster I would stitch already 
but kind of bulky stitches coming out not very straight and as many times as I try to just close my eyes on and just stitch in two two in one kind of like two holes per one I end up doing it as I'm doing right now even I think okay it's not gonna be visible maybe even after I wash this canvas maybe even it will even up and it's gonna be totally fine but yeah <laughs> I still end up doing it like this a stubby from one to another side and by the way uh, some of you mentioned so yes this way it's much easier and I agree with the problem of my thumb in here right it's it's painful I cannot bend too much it hurt and right in here um, I don't know if size different or not feels like maybe a little bit wider so this way as I'm stitching right now uh, in a stubby way it's much easy to pull out needle because it go nice and smoothly instead of if I would do you know in two I have to kind of I need to force it and to force it, I need to pinch my fingers uh, very hard so I put lots of pressure on this one by pushing it so it's difficult but even see I'm not even using my little sleeve in here uh, because with the stabbing uh, technique like this I don't really need it plus this canvas is actually really nice uh, it's not very very stiff it's stiff enough but even like see uh, like I'm rolling and holding my hands to get to this part it's already kind of soft it's not very difficult canvas to work with so yeah I can work without frame and I can work um, like this just uh, slowly plus when I will be at the campground I want to enjoy it's like it's not going to be a marathon to get this faster as soon as possible for example my summer angel yes I would love to finish over the summer uh, even it's going to take a time because I decided to use metallic threads it will take a longer but if you want to create a masterpiece something unique it's okay that it's taking longer and it's even okay that it take even double longer by creating this metallic threads and I will explain why um, it's not very easy to stitch to the first place it just need to be more pay attention than to these threads uh, because metallic threads cannot uh, break or there's a way you have to stitch to the maximum of used threads and those threads are very good actually so uh, when I um, I did before review uh, the stores have them so I will link it up and definitely you should have them in your position possession those threads because you can add them anywhere some people I see stitching uh, some project just with metallic threads like uh, different thickness of metallic threads or just layer them or four or six even threads and the whole project just sparkle with different colors and it's really beautiful it just depends um, what you're doing I love to combine different kind it looks it looks unique I still didn't start on my project that I really wanted to do different kind of stuff and you know what kind of canvas that is uh, many of you already asked me did I start it yet or not and I still did not and that is uh, Ambulite Ambulite I think that's the name I even looking on that canvas today I'm still jiggling between 11 and 14 count Ada here's the thing why I cannot choose which one you want to stitch better because you know I want to create the well I told you my plan it's going to be like special something right it's like the angel special that's the, the other one will be special but it's huge so for 11 count no for 14 count Ada I could use 
11 size seed beads that I have in big amount but it would be longer to stitch and more difficult because definitely need a or I need a glasses or I need to look with the magnifier all the time uh, if I would stitch an 11 count Ada will be so much easier to stitch and faster but not every I don't have enough of bigger size beads to cover area what I want but the other pieces of project would fit better for 11 count Ada which would be too big for 14 counts so it's like 50 50 advantage and disadvantage and that's what bothers me because I cannot choose <laughs> it's so difficult honest to god I cannot choose yet uh, more likely I'm, I'm getting a little bit more close to the 11 count because that way I think I will be stick to 11 you know why so we can work together more often on it uh, this days I have to admit put my hand on my heart and say that I did not stitch any counted stitching uh, why? because I cannot concentrate right now it's it's you know the situation that is going on right now in Ukraine I will create lots of mistake because I'm like a lower place my mind is going and you need to count you need to concentrate really not to be destructive and I, I cannot be not destructive right now because if I don't record video I'm watching I'm watching news from Ukraine every single free minute that I have so if I stitch by myself I'm sitting here and watching news what's on the front line what in that area in Ukraine what's what's on the east what's in the west um, yeah so that's not the time for me to stitch right now count that cross stitch even I am so missing on some of those designs because they are beautiful I have to wait because I just do not like when I have to tear apart some stitches that you spend the time count count and then you realize you make a big mistake so I'm just going to hold on to those projects because I have lots of projects that is whips and chat like uh, whips to make a chat video on count not counting sorry uh, printed canvases because we have so many of them right so I'm okay to work on this yeah so for the month of June as you can see I started two new canvases this sunflowers sunflowers is from biggest craft and the angel where's the angel war hold on let me check double check oh the summer angel is from paint some way there uh, some other stores now have them too but that's the first store that I found and I quickly decided to get it before it's again disappears so I have uh, the whole collection really really like them <coughs> excuse me So yeah, my video will be start in uh, seconds, we are already again in 23 minutes, so this video will be long. Thank you so much for listening to my chit chat and to my plan, tell me what you think about it. And I will see you of course probably on Monday. <laughs>